Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to Fallout New Vegas, my name's Camel, and in this video we will be running through all of the rare and unique rifles that can be found in Fallout New Vegas and all of its respective DLCs. All of the stats in this video are base stats with standard ammunition and with no perk or trait effects applied. And for the first rifle, we have the Abilene Kid LEBB gun. With a damage of 4, a DPS of 6.2, an AP cost of 28, an item health of 100, a value of 500, and weight of 2. Ammunition used is the BB, ammo per shot is 1, and the ammunition capacity is 100. The Abilene Kid LEBB gun can be found in Fields' shack. Secondly, and exclusively, if you have the Wild Wastelands trait active, it can also be found in Jimmy's well, next to the skeleton of Jimmy. The Abilene Kid LEBB gun is a variant of the standard BB gun gun on both sides of the weapon stock is the inscription Abilene Kid Limited Edition 1 of 200. It has a slightly higher critical chance and a dramatically higher critical damage bonus boasting an astounding 70 points of added damage for a critical hit. With the better criticals perk, a critical hit from the Abilene Kid LEBB gun is on par with one from a sniper rifle, doing 109 damage total compared to the sniper rifle's 113. However, due to its relatively low critical chance multiplier, the Abilene Kid LEBB gun cannot be relied upon to be effective in normal combat without additional critical chance modifiers. And finally, the Abilene Kid was the youngest lead role in the 1948 movie Three Godfathers. The Abilene Kid LEBB, personally I prefer double Ds. For the next rifle, we have the AER-14 prototype, with a damage of 35, a DPS of 105, an AP cost of 20, an item health of 100, a value of 2200, a weight of 8.5, ammunition uses the micro fusion cell, ammo per shot is 2, and the ammunition capacity is 24. The AER-14 prototype can be found in the common area of Vault 22. Go to the 5th floor, pest control, and enter the stairway door to the common area which is to the right upon exiting the elevator. It has a lock with a difficulty that varies according to the player's level. The AER-14 is lying on the ground next to a scorched skeleton. The AER-14, a successor to the AER-9 and AER-12, was a prototype in development before the Great War. The unit found in Vault 22 is one of these development tools, complete with exposed wiring and loose prototype circuit board taped to the stock. The AER-14 is similar in appearance to the standard laser rifle, the AER-9, although it is a lighter grey scheme with an orange-red trim. The AER-14 uses two microfusion cells per shot and has a unique green laser instead of the normal red laser. It doesn't have iron sights of view and cannot be modded using laser rifle mods. It is also visually longer than the standard AER-9 laser rifle. On the ground beside the AER-14 prototype where it's found, there are several energy cells, even though the gun doesn't use that ammunition type. There is also a sticky note on the back of the weapon. This refers to the wavelength of the laser light. The AER-14 prototype is the gun you get when you can't write an essay quick enough, because you need a pro to type. Next up we have the All-American with a damage of 26, a DPS of 156, an AP cost of 13, an item health of 400, a value of 5,900 and a weight of 6. The ammunition uses the 5.56mm round, ammo per shot is 1 and the ammunition capacity is 24. The All-American is located in Vault 34's armory. It can be found on an overturned table to the right side of the armory. The All-American is a unique variant of the semi-automatic Maskman Carbine. With woodland camouflage, a magazine capacity of 24 and a higher magnification scope. It also bears the distinctive 82nd All-American Airborne Division insignia. It is highly accurate, reliable and powerful, with its fast rate of fire making it one of the most versatile weapons in the game. The scope has the same crosshairs and 3.5 times magnification as the sniper rifle and the Gobi Campaign scout rifle. Sometimes there is a bug when equipped, the airborne decal on the gun is replaced by a copy of the gun's texture sheet. And the gun's name, the All-American, is a reference to the 82nd Airborne Division, nicknamed the All-American Division because upon activation in 1917, it was found to contain draftees from all 48 states. Thank you. 
Next up, we have Boza with a damage of 19, a DPS of 285, an AP cost of 18, an item health of 800. A value of 20,000, a weight of 15, ammunition uses the 5.56mm round, ammo per shot is 1, and the ammunition capacity is 30. Boza can be bought from the Vendatron at Gun Runners. However, this requires you to have the Gun Runners Arsenal DLC installed. The Boza delivers phenomenal firepower with great precision and can easily pierce the strongest of defenses. It has an ammunition capacity of 30 and uses very very common ammunition of the 5.56mm rounds. Though it appears to be a sniper weapon from its mounted scope, it is fully automatic. It has a low AP cost, a remarkably fast reload speed, a high DPS, and a low spread which make it a useful weapon for long to medium distances. The magnification level of the scope is times 2.43. Also during the development of Fallout 2, the Boza was supposed to be a sniper rifle rather than an automatic heavy support weapon with a scope, but a mistake was committed during the attribution of the stats and they were kept like that. Next up we have Christine COS Silencer Rifle with a damage of 62, a DPS of 99.6, an AP cost of 38, an item health of 85, a value of 6100, a weight of 5.5, the ammunition use is the 308 round, ammo per shot is 1 and the ammunition capacity is 5. It can be found leaning against the wall in a corner right next to an ammunition box on the top floor of the crumbling building outside the north wall of Little Yangtze. It can be hard to see as it blends into the wall. This also requires you to have the Old World Blues DLC installed. Christine Royce of the Brotherhood of Steel Circle of Steel left her rifle near Little Yangtze as she hunted for the estranged Elijah, similar to her recon armor at the Y-17 medical facility. Before she could capture or kill Elijah, he sent the ghoul prisoners of Little Yangtze after her, detonating their colors as they got close to her as a distraction. He made his escape soon after to Elijah's watch. Christine's COS silencer rifle is physically identical to a sniper rifle but with a suppressor already attached. It has higher damage than the regular sniper rifle and any other other 308 weapon in the game, outclassing even this machine. In addition, it has a slightly raised DPS, a weight of 2.5 less than the regular sniper rifle, a higher bonus critical damage, a higher critical multiplier, and slightly more durability. However, it fires slightly slower than the normal counterpart and has a slightly higher AP cost. Like the other sniper rifles, the scope of this weapon has a times 3.5 magnification. In terms of regular damage per shot, this is the most powerful weapon in the game to use the 308 rounds. It is also the most powerful silenced rifle in the game of Fallout New Vegas. Next, we have Elijah's Advanced LAER with a damage of 65, a DPS of 178.8, an AP cost of 32, an item health of 50, a value of 8,500, a weight of 4, the ammunition uses the microfusion cell, ammo per shot is 1, and the ammunition capacity is 15. The first Elijah's Advanced LAER is found on the roof of the Signal Hills transmitter, next to four ammunition boxes and a sync upgrade holotape. The second one is found on the porch of the watchtower at Little Yangtze. Elijah's Advanced LAER is identical to the LAER in appearance, but differs in ammunition capacity by having five fewer shots per magazine and a slightly increased rate of fire. This gives it a higher damage per second, but also makes it much less durable. As the name suggests, this weapon was modified by none other than Elijah during his stay in the Big Mountain. Elijah's advanced LAER uses the same electric beam weapons technology also developed in the Secret Vault in Fallout Brotherhood of Steel. I swear I'm telling the truth, I'm not Elijah. I've even been accused of being an advanced layer. Next up we have the Gobi Campaign Scout Rifle with a damage of 48, a DPS of 102.9, an AP cost of 24, an item health of 160, a value of 6200, a weight of 4.5, ammunition uses the 308 round, ammo per shot is 1, and the ammunition capacity is 6. The Gobi Campaign Scout Rifle can be found at the Sniper's Nest, inside a very hard locked gun case that is next to an ammunition crate. There is also no key to open it if the lock breaks, so be sure to lock pick it. The Gobi Campaign Scout Rifle is a unique 
sniper rifle that was used by the United States Armed Forces in the Gobi Desert military campaign in China before the Great War. The scout rifle is coated in a desert camouflage with a black rubber eyepiece on the scope and comes pre-equipped with an extended magazine, a slightly shorter barrel and a maintenance kit stored in stock. Thus, its condition deteriorates more slowly than a standard sniper rifle. Like most unique weapons, it cannot be modified with a suppressor or carbon fiber parts, although its decreased weight and texture imply that the latter model has already been applied. Compared to a standard sniper rifle, the Gobi Campaign Scout Rifle does slightly more damage, has a higher DPS, has a lower weapon spread, fires more rapidly, degrades more slowly, and has greatly increased critical hit damage. Its reduced AP cost can be very useful for squeezing an extra shot into vats. Sadly, the major downside is that it cannot be suppressed, just like my love for Melanie Martinez. Beaming through the list, we have the Hollow Rifle. With the damage of 80 and then 15 damage per second for 3 seconds, a DPS of 88.9 plus the 15 damage and AP cost of 30 and item health of 100, a value of 3000 and a weight of 8. The ammunition used is the Micro Fusion Cell, ammo per shot is 1 and the ammunition capacity is 4. The Hollow Rifle is given to the player at the beginning of Dead Money, which unbelievably does require you to have the Dead Money DLC installed. The Hollow Rifle, along with other model types, was constructed by Father Elijah, utilizing technology that he had obtained from Big Mountain and fashioned from the holograms in the Sierra Madre. The Hollow Rifle is a scoped pump action energy based weapon. The weapon's main body is similar in appearance to that of a grenade launcher. The scope of the weapon also appears similar to that of a laser rifle scope, but with the advantage that the Hollow Rifle scope features integrated night vision. The weapon is unique in that its projectile is not a bullet, plasma, laser flame, electromagnetic pulse, or electrical charge. Since the Hollow Fire is based on hologram technology, it fires a concentrated photon based energy projectile. When viewed in vats or through the scope, the projectiles fired by the hollow rifle appear to be small clusters of glowing holographic cubes. For unknown reasons, even at near breaking conditions, the weapon will not jam, unlike strawberries. And for this next weapon, we have La Longue Carabine. With a damage of 35, a DPS of 75.3, an AP cost of 24, an item health of 150, a value of 1,500, and weight of 5. The ammunition uses the 357 Magnum round, ammo per shot is 1, and the ammunition capacity is 11. La Longue Carabine can be found being carried by Corporal Sterling, a member of the NCR's first recon in Camp McCarran. It is a unique variant of the Cowboy Rapido. It has a scope which was mounted on the rifle by Corporal Sterling. It produces slightly more damage and reloads faster as it does not load through the loading gear gates, but instead through the front of the magazine tube. Also, the Le Long carabine is more accurate than a regular cowboy repeater. Like most unique weapons, weapon modifications cannot be used on Le Long carabine. Le Long carabine is a French phrase meaning the long carbine. It is a reference to the James Fenimore Cooper novel, The Last of the Mohicans, in which the main character, Hawkeye, is nicknamed Le Long Carabine by the Delaware tribe for his famed maskmanship. Quite similar to my nickname, Le Long Chemu. Next we have the Medicine Stick with a damage of 78, a DPS of 180, an AP cost of 31, an item health of 200, a value of 20,000, a weight of 5.5. Ammunition uses the 4570, ammo per shot is 1, and the ammunition capacity is 8. Medicine Stick can be purchased from the Vendatron at the Gun Runners, however, for this to be in stock, you need the Gun Runners Arsenal DLC installed. The Medicine Stick is a variant of the Brush Gun. It has an increased ammunition capacity, a less obstructive rear sight, and is also much cleaner in appearance. It also features a unique stock with a symbol similar in appearance to a Native American medicine wheel attached to its side. Compared to the standard brush gun, the medicine stick has a slightly higher damage and rate of fire. Due to the gun's tubular magazine, it is reloaded by hands one bullet at a time, allowing the player to interrupt reloading midway. This allows the gun to be fired before reloading is complete. The medicine stick is the strongest 4570 chambered weapon. Medicine sticks are also called spirit sticks by some Native American tribes. Spirit sticks are often used for rituals relating to the spirit world and are often decorated with beads and feathers from spirit animals, such as an eagle or a bear. The weapon's name implies that it can take away bad spirits and send them back to the spirit world. I too have a medicine stick of sorts.
Next up we have Paciencia, with a damage of 55, a DPS of 65.1, an AP cost of 35, an item health of 350, a value of 12,000, a weight of 6.2. Ammunition uses the 308 round, I'm at per shot is 1, and the ammunition capacity is 3. Paciencia can be purchased from Cliff Briscoe in Novak. However, for this weapon to be in stock, you do need the Gunrunners Arsenal DLC installed. Paciencia is a unique hunting rifle. It has a 3 round magazine, but boasts higher damage than a regular variant, as well as a higher item health. Its main advantage over the standard variant is its extremely high critical damage, which is an astounding 110 points equal to the anti-materiel rifle. Due to its bonus critical chance, critical hits will be more common. It also has a times 3.5 magnification when looking down the rifle's iron sights, equivalent to a top tier scope. In appearance, it is less makeshift than a regular hunting rifle. A Mexican flag is also wrapped around the stock for use as a makeshift cheek rest. Paciencia, along with the anti-materiel rifle, has the highest critical damage in the game. In Spanish slash Portuguese, paciencia means patience. According to Joshua Sawyer, it is named so because you have three shots, so you had better make them count. Next we have the Q35 Matter Modulator with a damage of 40, a DPS of 96, an AP cost of 28, an item health of 250, a value of 3000, a weight of 7, the ammunition used is the Microfusion Cell, ammo per shot is 1, and the ammunition capacity is 12. The Q35 Matter Modulator can be found in the Repcon headquarters main floor. Behind a very hard locked door, there is a wall terminal which requires a science of 100 to hack next to the door that can also be used. This weapon can also be obtained by going through all of the building's floors, finding alternate routes and keys to unlock the door. On the second floor, look for a hard locked door which requires a lockpick of 75 to open. It leads to the main office floor. There will be a hole in the ground which can be dropped down into, leading to the room where the rifle is. To exit the room, either climb back up the rubble and back into the second floor or use the terminal near the door to open it. Also known as the V35 Quantum Plasma Modulation Matter Injection Rifle, the Q35 Matter Modulator was created by the Repcon Aerospace Engineers as part of Project Quantum Plasma Modulator Matter Injection Rifle, a research program overseen by Colonel Moretti of the US Army, who was looking for a replacement for the aging plasma rifle designs. The Q35 Matter Modulator has a dark red and black color scheme as opposed to the normal gray. The microfusion cells used as ammunition also follow the color scheme and appear red and black. This causes the cells to appear similar to the electron charge packs. There are numerous differences between the standard plasma rifle and the Q35 35 matter modulator. The Q35 matter modulator uses one microfusion cell per shot instead of two. Its rate of fire is twice as fast. Plasma bolts have much higher velocity. It degrades slower. It has 50% extra damage per second. It causes seven less damage per shot, but 15 more critical damage. It uses two less AP in vats, and it weighs one pound less than the standard plasma rifle. The name of the weapon, the Q35 matter modulator, is a reference to the fictitious Illudium Q36 explosive space modulator, sometimes known as the PU-36 Space Modulator or the Uranium Q-36 Explosive Space Modulator, a weapon that is always unsuccessfully deployed by the Warner's brother cartoon character Marvin the Martian in efforts to destroy planet Earth. Similar to many unique weapon variants, the Q-35 Matter Modulator cannot have weapon modifications applied to it. As the creator said, ah, it doesn't matter, I'll mod you later. For the next weapon, we have the Rat Slayer with a damage of 23, a DPS of 30, an AP cost of 33, an item health of 200, a value of 2000, a weight of 4.5, ammunition uses the 5.56mm round, amber per shot is 1, and the ammunition capacity is 8. The Rat Slayer can be found inside the Brockflower Cave, below a desk in the makeshift laboratory on the upper level. It may be quite hard to find as there are lots of giant rats in this room. The Rat Slayer is a unique variant of the Varmint Rifle. It has a black synthetic stock instead of the standard wood. Parts that appear to be made from stainless steel and has 47 tally marks on the stock next to the image of a mole rat skull. Compared to the Varmint Rifle, the Rat Slayer is lighter, boasts a higher damage per second and a much higher critical multiplier and has all of the possible Varmint Rifle modifications. The Rat Slayer has a very high critical multiplier of times 5 making it the gun with the third highest multiplier. This fact alone makes the Rat Slayer a very powerful gun. The Rat Slayer also has the smallest spread of any 5.56mm chambered rifle, making it a valuable choice for sniping targets at a great distance.
For the next weapon, we have the Survivalist's Rifle with a damage of 48, a DPS of 187.2, an AP cost of 20, an item health of 500, a value of 5,400, a weight of 8.5, ammunition uses the 12.7mm round, ammo per shot is 1, and the ammunition capacity is 10. The Survivalist's Rifle can be found in the Zion National Park at the Red Gate in a duffel bag marked the Survivalist's Duffel Bag next to Randall Clark's Skeleton. This requires you to have the Honest Hearts DLC installed. The Survivalist's Rifle once belonged to Randall Clark, an ex-US Army serviceman who sought refuge in the Zion National Park after the Great War. The rifle was used by the survivalists for decades, evident by the heavy wear and sun damage on the wood and metal of the gun. It also shows signs of improvised repairs, such as the foregrip wood being made from mismatched furniture wood held in place with metal clamps. The barrel is noticeably shorter than a typical service rifle, and the front sight is bent out of shape. In terms of in-game performance, the rifle has a high rate of fire, relatively low spread, respectable AP cost, and a high damage. It also has stop or halt written in French on the stock. This is also paired with stop written in English on the other side of the stock. This, combined with information from Randall Clark's terminal entries, indicates that this rifle was used during the US occupation of Canada. And that's all I know about this weapon. <laughs> Jesus. Next we have this machine with a damage of 55, a DPS of 117.9, an AP cost of 22, an item health of 600, a value of 2800, a weight of 9.5, and ammunition uses the 308 round, ammo per shot is 1, and the ammunition capacity is 8. This machine is received at the end of the unmarked quest dealing with Contreras, either by Contreras if he isn't turned in, or by Kerry Boyd if he is. This machine is a unique battle rifle chambered with a 308 caliber round, holding up to 8 rounds at a time. Along Along the rifle's left side are the words, well, this machine kills commies, giving reference that this gun was used by American soldiers during the resource wars. This rifle is effective in mid to long range combat, however, the long range combat is difficult because the gun's relatively widespread. Without the Gunrunner's Arsenal DLC installed, this machine has no non-unique counterpart. This machine is a reference to Woody Guthrie's guitar, which has a sticker stating, this machine kills fascists. This machine has a statement, well, this machine kills commies, seemingly phrased as a direct reply carved into the side. Next, we have the Van Graaff Laser Rifle with a damage of 15, a DPS of 46.2, an AP cost of 18, an item health of 55, a value of 800, a weight of 8. The ammunition used is the microfusion cell, ammo per shot is 1, and the ammunition capacity is 24. The Van Graaff Laser Rifle is given to the player character at the Silver Rush during the quest Birds of a Feather. When given the choice between the Plasma Rifle or the Laser Rifle, you must choose, of course, the Laser Rifle to receive this Van Graaff Laser Rifle. However, once you finish this part of the quest, the gun will be taken from you. You. The only way to permanently obtain this weapon is to let the Silver Rush explode during the quest Birds of a Feather. When the quest fails, you will be able to drop the rifle whenever you want as it will not be marked as a quest item. The Van Graaff Laser Rifle is a unique variant of the AER-9 laser rifle received from the Van Graaffs. It is received in max condition. Overall, it has less damage, less item health and less critical damage but requires less energy weapon skill. Following quite closely, we have the Van Graaff Plasma Rifle. With a damage of 32, a DPS of 44.8, an AP cost of 30, an item health of 75, a value of 1,300, and a weight of 8. The ammunition use is the Micro Fusion Cell, ammo per shot is 2, and the ammunition capacity is 24. The Van Graaff Plasma Rifle is given to the player character at the Silver Rush during the quest, Birds of a Feather. When given the choice between the Plasma Rifle or the Laser Rifle, of course, choose the Plasma Rifle to get this weapon. However, once this part of the quest is finished, the Van Graaff Plasma Plasma Rifle will be taken off the player. The only way to obtain this weapon permanently is to let the Silver Rush explode during the quest, Birds of a Feather. When the quest fails, you will be able to drop the rifle wherever you want as it will not be marked as a quest item. The Van Graaff Plasma Rifle is a unique variant of the Plasma Rifle and is received in max condition from the Van Graaffs. This variant consumes microfusion cells at the same rate as the standard Plasma Rifle. However, the Van Graaff Plasma Rifle has a lower damage, a lower DPS, and a lower critical damage than the standard plasma rifle.
And finally, we have the YCS186 with a damage of 140, a DPS of 420. That sure is a high DPS. An AP cost of 40, an item health of 100, a value of 3000, a weight of 8. The ammunition used is the micro fusion cell, ammo per shot is 4, and the ammunition capacity is 4. The YCS186 Gauls rifle is found at the mercenary camp east of Brooks Tumbleweed Ranch. A hostile mercenary in reinforced combat armor is carrying the weapon and will attack the player character on site. For this mercenary to be present, you must specifically not have the Wild Wastelands trait active. In the place of the mercenaries, there will be aliens, rendering the YCS-186 unobtainable during that playthrough. The YCS-186 is a unique variant of the Gauss rifle. Physically, it looks like a standard Gauss rifle, but with a sandy or rusted texture along the barrel and main body. And it sports black stripes on the wooden stock. It has four more coils around the barrel, possibly explaining the greater weight and damage, while remaining the same length. The lens on the scope is tinted an unusual shade of red. The YCS-186 uses four microfusion cells per shot instead of the normal five of a standard Gauss rifle. It is slightly more accurate and has 20 more item health than the standard variant. Its only drawback over the base model is it has a slightly increased weight at eight pounds instead of the standard seven. The YCS-186 boasts several advantages over the anti-material rifle. In addition to its increased damage output, it tends to cripple limbs on a direct hit, provided of course that it does not kill the enemy immediately. When using max charge microfusion cells, this weapon can deal a devastating 210 base damage. With all related perks, this can be increased to 247.8 damage per shot. The YCS-186's scope has a magnification of times 3.5. The YCS-186 is a reference to the now defunct Your Console Sucks section of the Something Awful forums. YCS, your console sucks. Additionally, 186 was the forum ID number of your console sucks, which let's be honest, it does. And there we have it, that does conclude our video for the rare and unique rifles that can be found in Fallout New Vegas and its respective DLCs. I hope this video helped you in your Fallout New Vegas shopping list. As you can see on screen, there are other videos in this series, so please feel free to check them out. If you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to leave a like, don't forget to leave a comment letting me know your favourite weapon in this video and the time of your favourite kill. Be sure to share this video amongst your fellow Vault dwellers, and as always, if you did enjoy this video and you would like to see videos similar to this one, please subscribe. It helps me know that people are interested in these kind of videos and in the long run will result in more of these kind of videos. Links to Twitter and Facebook will be in the description and please feel free to follow and like. I'd like to thank you very much for watching and I will see you very shortly, provided you leave your curtains open.